I would, okay, let me try and encapsulate it. I was born in Kerala, grew up in Tamil Nadu. But I've been living in Orissa, South Orissa, for the last 25, 30 years now. Um, I landed up there because I did my medicine at Christian Medical College, Velo. And they have a rule that uh, you have to serve for two years where they send you after your MBBS. So I got sent to Christian Hospital, Bismarck, Orissa in 1987. It was too beautiful to leave. There was so much work to do and an opportunity to make a difference and not just be another cog in the wheel. Um, I liked it so much, I went back and did an MD in community medicine and returned to Orissa in 93. So now it's 25 years since I got back. I work at a hospital, which is a Christian hospital, which is 250 beds, overflowing with patients because there's nobody else around us. Tons of work to do, um, good fun, challenging. Uh, but from that, I, my main responsibility is in community health where we work with 50 villages. It's been a good learning. It's a constant learning. Um, realizing that our demons, our enemies are inside us, our own biases, our own fears, uh, facing those, working with communities and primarily with the tribal community, um, initially in healthcare and then finding that education is far more important than health in changing the game. So now we've gone more into primary education. So among the various things we do, to me, community work is a relationship with people and you do what is needed. So a lot of work on malaria, a lot of work on malnutrition, now running a tribal school true to the ethos of the tribal people. It just keeps changing, it keeps growing. But it's good fun. It's really enjoyable. Thank you. And uh, the second is about your message to the youngsters, generations like us. I consider myself still a youngster, but if you insist, I would say, wake up. There's so much happening around us. We can't be just absorbed in ourselves, in our little circles. Secondly, there's so much good. Uh, one gets cynical listening to news and uh, reading the newspapers, but there's so much good in this country. So I would say to the young people, step off the beaten track. Don't waste your life. To whom much has been given, much will be expected. And we've got to answer for the resources we've received, the opportunities we've received. There are others born at the same time as us with not the chances or opportunities we got. So the opportunities we got don't belong to us. They belong to them as much as to us. So I would say get out, step out, see this country, travel, visit. There's so much to see, so much to learn. And if you choose to step off the beaten track and take a position in the social sector, it is something you can do with pride, with dignity. It's not easy, but it's worth it. And what's the point of an easy life? So I would say go for it. It's really worth it.